Welcome back to another episode of Big Sticks. Guys, today I'll be making a Big Sticks household exclusive. Now, in some of my crappie videos before, you've probably heard us refer to them as Slappy Patties. And what that is, is, you know, my kids grew up watching Spongebob and they love the term Krabby Patties. And so we turned crappie into a Slabby Patty. You know, sometimes folks refer to crappies as slabs, hubcaps, uh, socole, specs, paper mouths. We just call them Slabby Patties. So with that being said, folks, we're going to turn that into a sandwich today. Let's get started. First, quickly, I want to shout out my man Camo Joe. Check him out on YouTube at Fishing with Camo Joe, but also on Facebook at Camo's Custom Hand Ties. He made these awesome jigs for me, which made this video all the way possible. Here's a picture of some of those slabs that we are going to turn into these awesome, awesome slabby patties. Now keep in mind, this video all took place while I was trying to test out my new Nakwa Adventure Gear lights that I put on the bottom of my kayak. These things are awesome. I figured why not go out at night, see how these lights work, and see if they can help me catch any slabs, and lo and behold, they did, as evidenced right here. I only had a few hours to fish, and this is what I got. Okay, so the first thing we want to do here is make our remoulade sauce, and that consists of one half to two thirds cup of your favorite mayonnaise. One teaspoon each of ketchup and mustard. Now I used yellow, feel free to substitute Dijon or Creole, I just didn't have any. One tablespoon of sweet paprika. One tablespoon of Creole seasoning. I use Tony Saturi's, again, substitute it for whatever you like. Two cloves of minced fresh garlic one teaspoon of prepared horseradish along with your favorite hot sauce. I use Louisiana brand hot sauce, but feel free to substitute it for whatever you like. One tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Oh, can't have seeds. No stems, no seeds that you don't need. Acapulco gold is badass. Remoulade fool, what were you thinking? Anyways, if you remember where that's from, please let me know in the comments section below. Maybe we'll hook up and I'll send you something as a prize. But what you want to do here with your remoulade is you want to mix that up thoroughly. Make sure that all the ingredients get mixed in well together. And last but not least, you're going to want to taste this. That way you can adjust the seasonings before you stick it in the refrigerator and allow the flavors to meld. Mine turned out perfect. Might not be your taste, but hey, stick it in the refrigerator from here. Next, we're going to start with our egg wash. We're simply going to crack an egg. We're going to lightly beat it. And then we're going to add a little bit of milk to it. Not a lot, just a splash. Now that our egg wash is ready, Time has come to add the crappie. What we're gonna do here is of course, you're gonna get them nice and coated in that egg wash. Make sure you flip them over, get them good and coated. Once that's done, we'll slide that to the side and it's time for us to break out the secret ingredient. For me, that's Joe's Gourmet Fish Fry. Now I order this stuff from them directly. Uh, I believe you can purchase it at Walmart but this is one of my favorite fish fries out there, in particularly for frying sunfish. All right, from here, I'm just gonna shut up and stop talking. Uh, a lot of the stuff I'm gonna do here is pretty self-explanatory, so I'm just gonna let you guys watch and we'll pick up when it's time to eat.
All right, now's the time to assemble this sandwich. Let's get our remoulade and grab a bun, and we are gonna make sweet, sweet love to each other. Make sure you spread it on thick. This remoulade really, really makes the sandwich. Next, we're gonna add thinly sliced tomatoes. I don't know why, I just tend to prefer it that way. And yes, what you see here is bagged lettuce. I don't care, it was fast. Next, I broke the loins off of the fillets, and I'm gonna use that to make our slabby patty. Now, let's take the lid and put it on top, and I'll give you a look at it in all its glory. Ladies and gentlemen, the Big Sticks Slabby Patty. Oh yeah, it's my favorite part. It's time to grub. All right, so let's see. So once again, the Big Sticks Slabby Patty. Mm. Well, I don't know what it is about this sandwich, but maybe it's because I usually only make it around Lent when I give up meat. And so I'm often consuming a lot of seafood. And one of the main components of my diet in the springtime tends to be crappie. So maybe that's it, but man, this is good. I'll let you get a look on the inside there. Fantastic little fish, one of my favorites to eat all time. With that, le that remoulade in here, adding a nice little kick on the hind end with the Creole seasoning and the horseradish, but then you also get a little bit of bite from that raw garlic that's in there. It's just, it's just a match made in heaven. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, with extra remoulade. Mm. I need Forgive me, folks. It is just that good. So if any of you guys are into catching crappie, I suggest you might want to give this recipe here a try if you're, if you're just done with, you know, frying it and eating it with french fries or, I don't know, seasoning it and pan frying it. Uh, you know, why not spice it up a little bit and do something a little bit different? So with that being said, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And until next time, folks, from my kitchen to yours, Big Sticks out. Yo, y'all got to get this one to try. Is that good? Got to try my Slabby Patty. What? Yeah, I'm going to have a second one. Mm. Mm.